Hey, how you doing? It's Christmas Stone Box Media, and uh, I was reading a story that really got my attention. It was about porn. Uh, I was going on Yahoo, and I came across this article or whatever in the top header bar or whatever, and they're talking about men's porn use is linked to unhappy relationships. So I looked at it, and after reading this whole entire article, I started paying attention to the comments, and the comments are what's really interesting. See, this article was basically saying when men watch porn, or whatever, and women know that they watch porn, then it makes the women feel inferior and like they're not good enough or they're not measuring up and all this other great stuff that's, that's making women feel like ass. So apparently this university did a whole lot of uh, studies on it and they wanted to ask a lot of women's opinions and a lot of women said, you know, they feel bad and it, it makes them unhappy and it makes them insecure and it just keeps on going and so on and so forth. And at the end of this article, I ran into all the comments and all these hundreds of comments from from people, especially men, because apparently men are rallying behind porn. And the comments that they're saying makes a lot of sense. A lot of guys don't watch porn because they they just you know are crazy perverts who have like a psycho porn addiction or something like that. It's maybe because they haven't had sex with their wife in a long time, or you know maybe they have an argument, or maybe he's just like. Hey, I'll do this as compared to cheating on her with some other skank on the street. You know, some guys were logically thinking in their heads, I would rather watch porn than go have sex with somebody else because I love my wife. Stuff like that. And so uh, I come across the, the comments from the ladies, and the ladies seem to be just attacking men every single way they can. And one of these comments really pissed me off. Uh, hold on, let me read this comment for you real quick. Uh, Maybe some women would be more into sex if they weren't so tired from working, cooking, and endless cleaning, feeding kids, and taking care of them so men can come home from work and sit in front of the TV and play Xbox or uh, get on the computer. And by the time a woman gets done with all the work, uh, it's almost midnight. And not saying all men do, but most of her, her friends that she knows, you know, their husbands do it. And if more men were willing to help their wives out at home, Maybe she would have time to fix her hair, put on sexy clothes, and so on and so forth. Not saying all men do it, but just saying that, you know, they can't understand why their wives are so tired. And this comment really pissed me the hell off because of the shit that she said in the first sentence. I don't understand this shit. Maybe women will have more time to have sex with their husbands and get off sexy and take care of the bodies and lose weight and all this other good stuff that men were complaining about in the comments before that one, if men would get to work after they get home from work instead of sitting down in front of the TV. So let me paint a pretty picture in your head, okay, Heidi. Okay, if a man wakes up at 7 o'clock in the morning and has to go, or 5 o'clock in the morning to go to some damn construction site and work there in the freezing fucking cold or the scorching hot heat for the next 10 hours until he gets his ass off home and, and finally makes it home from work, takes off his fucking muddy ass boots, take a shower, eat some fucking food. Maybe he wanted to sit his fucking ass down for a couple of minutes. But you're sitting here telling me that because the woman may be taking care of the kids, doing endless cleaning and, and, and cooking dinner, that that's an excuse for her not to have to work out or, or be sexy or do anything at all. Okay, let's get some fucking shit straight. Okay, let's cut the fucking crap. Okay, not every fucking woman takes care of fucking kids 24 hours a day. Not all housewives do a whole shitload of fucking work. Okay, for one, if the baby's an infant, you might be able to get away with a little bit. Kids teething, got, you know, a whole lot of screaming issues going on, playing around, trying to drink bleach. Okay, cool. Maybe you got something to work with. Okay, for at least a year or two until the kid starts to develop some kind of mindset that bleach doesn't taste good. But then, let's fast forward to when a kid is fucking eight, nine years old. If you have a boy and a girl, one's eight, one's nine, I guarantee you the boy is more likely freaking out playing some kind of a sport or sitting up in his room playing Xbox or freaking PlayStation or something. I guarantee you the little girl is probably playing on Nintendo DS or hanging out with her little, her little girlfriends Hopscotch, jump rope, all the other good stuff right in front of the fucking house. So what the fuck are you doing when these kids are in school? You mean to tell me that when these kids get on that school bus at 7.45 that your ass is fucking scrubbing and cleaning pots all fucking day? You are full of fucking shit. Okay? 
I guarantee you, he's going to come home from work and he's going to have some hamburger helper sitting there waiting on his fucking ass. It did not take you fucking eight hours to make hamburger helper. So what were you doing all this time? Were you at the gym? Were you reading books? Were you going to college so that maybe when the kids get two or three years older and they can sustain themselves for the most part, that maybe you can go have a career and you won't feel like a worthless person or something like that later on in life? Are you doing any of these things? No, you're sitting there watching Maureen, Steve Wilkos, and all these other fucking shows like The Talk and The View and all this other fucking shit. And you're going to sit here and tell me that when that man gets off of work after busting his fucking ass, he needs to get home and start helping and cleaning the pots and pans. Bring home the bacon, bring home the bread, and then afterwards cook and clean and do all the work that you are supposed to be doing. If you are a housewife, and women consider housewife being a job, and for the most part I do too. But if you're going to tell me that your job shouldn't require you to do it, that someone else should do it, then maybe you deserve a break from doing your job. My job is to take care of the kids, cook and clean, and all this other good stuff. You are not fucking cleaning the house every fucking day. You are not fucking cleaning the house every fucking day. You are not doing it. Okay? It ain't that much house to fucking clean. You are not sitting down washing clothes and doing all this other crazy shit. You're not doing it. You're not cooking long, drawn-out dinners with goose and freaking duck and all this other crap that you think that you're doing. You're not doing it. Okay? So, get off your high horse and understand that if a man comes home from work and there's a housewife sitting there, he expects to come home and have food there that he can eat after working his ass off and then maybe he wants to spend some time with his kids and maybe rest his fucking bones before he's like, get the fuck back up at 5 o'clock in the morning and do it all over again. And you're going to tell me that you deserve for him to jump home from work and go do it too. He needs to do your job too. The small portion that you think that you're actually doing, with the exception of a small t toddler, for the most part, you're not doing that much fucking work. I, I'm i just so irked by the fact that someone can say when someone gets home from work, they need to get to work in order for her to feel sexy. Men don't watch porn like that because they, they just feel like it or because they're sleazy perverts. They just, sometimes you don't want to have sex with them. Sometimes he may be tired of looking at you. Maybe, maybe you're hot. But you haven't been acting hot lately, okay? Some people get oh, very comfortable when it comes into marriage and people want to start doing nasty shit. And maybe you got a little too comfortable. And maybe he wants to bring sexy back. So maybe some of these women that sit around all day watching Lifetime thinking that watching guys that are overly attractive or whatever freaking sit there and, and, and be the perfect guy that their husband is supposed to magically do that? Come on now. Live in reality. Okay, not everybody's hot. Not everybody's fucking perfect. Okay, my wife is fucking gorgeous. But, you know, she works and she still comes home and cooks and cleans sometimes. And I cook and clean. And we separate. on, We alternate between the days. And, you know, and she's still gorgeous. And she works out and she's fucking beautiful. That is what the fuck I expect. Because I do no less. I go to the gym too. I can't just let myself go and say, hey, why aren't you hot for me anymore? Don't you like this hunchback? What the fuck? Be fucking fair and stop having these fucking double standards. And not all men are fucking slime balls who fucking, I don't know, go out and watch some adult films. Women watch that shit too. It's just in the form of Lifetime and cheesy sleazy novels and fucking Twilight movies. So fucking get real.